Hello everybody, it's Mrs Clifford. Hope you're all okay. It's a lovely sunny day today so I thought I'd come out into my garden and try and do some garden art. So today I thought I would try to make a spider. So come and have a look at the things that I've found in my garden. So I found a really big stone, some twigs, some little stones, some rosemary that smells really nice and I've got some leaves I found that had fallen off the tree and some other little pieces that I found in my garden too. So first of all for my spider I thought I should find a body so I'm going to use this big stone for his body and then he needs some eyes. So let's give him some eyes. One, two. Now a spider needs something else. He needs some legs. How many legs does a spider have? That's right, he has eight legs. So do you want to count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. It's looking like a spider now, isn't it? So then I thought I would make a spider's web, because that's what spiders do, they spin a web. So I'm going to use some rosemary and just put it in the corner like this and then use these little pieces just to make the little bits that go across the web like that. There we go, it looks a little bit like a spider's web. And then what else could I do? I could use the leaves along the bottom. So I could maybe make a little pattern. So I could put a leaf and then a stone. And then another leaf and another stone. So what have we got? Leaf, stone, leaf, stone, leaf. What would come next in my pattern? Leaf, stone, leaf, stone, leaf, stone. I'm going to do one more repeating part of the pattern, leaf and stone. And there you go, there's my spider. Well children, if you have a garden that you can go into, maybe you could have a go at making some garden art. Have fun everybody, bye!